All right, guys, welcome back to the Brave Angler. Today, we're gonna to talk about getting out of your comfort zone. So you guys probably seen it in a lot of our videos that we're always fishing in the same spot. Today, we're gonna to change that. Today, we're gonna to mix it up a little bit, different types of cover. So uh, we're actually gonna be going back on the canals and maybe over to Little Lake Weir because I've never fished over there. Part of this is everyone saying right now that it's hard to catch fish. And yeah, you know, I just don't believe that's true as long as you like stay flexible. So like I said, we're gonna see if we can't get on some fish and prove everyone wrong that even during the early fall, you can catch fish. All right, so let's get in it. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off in this little pocket back here. There's some matted grass. You know, like I said in my last video, flipping and pitching, like down here in Florida during the fall, punching is a great technique. I'm out of creature baits. You know, we got some molds coming in um, so we can make our own. Uh, I really don't wanna go out and buy any, but uh, we're just gonna start getting this going. You know what, since we're coming into a little opening, we're gonna try, uh, we're gonna go to the jerk bait. So, oh, there's a fish right there. Like I said, like, sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone, you know, go to new spots. Um, Cause what happens is you get stuck in that OODA loop and you know, we're not growing as anglers. And I feel it's very important to kind of get out of that every day mundane and you know because like we're guilty of it you know like we want to catch fish for you guys so we typically go where we know we can catch fish that spot that we normally go to we pretty much always catch fish there so um it's one of those things where we kind of have to be flexible and you know see like this is a a nice little area and uh we already saw a fish uh, when we were coming in we were marking fish on our uh you know our downward facing uh, sonar. So uh, I don't have any other electronics on this boat. Uh, pretty much just keep the basics. Uh, this boat's, you know, not, nothing fancy, just gets you fishing. And, you know, I kind of like, you know, going about it using knowledge rather than electronics. But fortunately it is a little windy guys. I apologize for the poor audio but we can't wait on the weather. This whole area is just full of grass. So I have a feeling like it's not gonna really matter much how we fish it. We'll be able to catch something. So we'll switch out to something a little bit more, a little bit more natural. So let's go with, let's go with uh, the blood harvest. That's been doing us pretty good so. now this is just a four aught hook uh, this one in particular is a six cents i typically use uh gagatsu i think that's how it's pronounced i don't know but you know really when it comes to these uh wide gap hooks i, I wish i could say they're all created equal but they're not um there's just certain things i look for like I want my, uh, I want my hook, uh, my hook to be a little bit higher than the offset up here. And that's just so, you know, uh, I get a little better, in my opinion, I get a better hookup ratio. All right. Let's send it. Oh, I swear guys, they are eluding me. Oh. That's kind of close. He should be able to see that. Oh, and we got him, guys. He's trying to swim for the cover. In the boat. All right, there we go. Like I said, you could definitely catch fish in the fall. Um, like I said before, um, I don't really play into that whole, you know, fall is hard fishing. 
like I said, I love using jerk baits down here in Florida. They catch fish all year round. Does not matter. And as you guys just saw, I mean, easy, you know, uh, sometimes it does come down to color. Like I said, the water's super clear. So we're using this, uh, more natural, uh, it's almost like a very light see-through green pumpkin. Uh, that's how I made this color with black and a, a crap ton of red glitter called the blood harvest. Next time we'll probably make it a little more saturated with the green, but, uh, yeah, they've been catching fish for both me and my buddy. So they're definitely working. So let's see if we can't get another. They just want to jump everywhere. I'm not casting. It's all right. We're not going to let them dictate. So obviously they're all around us. So Oh. Got a fish or am I stuck? Oh, well, it seems like it's swimming, so. Oh, there we go. It is a fish and it feels like a better one. Oh, and it is a much, much better one. Give it a little. Oh. Come on. All right, we're gonna just boat flip them. There we go. All right. Chill out, bro. Looks like this guy completely open up. Swallowed this. Ooh, gonna have to get the pliers for this guy. All right, guys. So we're going better. Nothing too big, but you know, nothing to scoff at. Go on, swim, bud. Definitely nothing to scoff at. All right, so we're gonna try something else. And that is going to be a jig. Now this is my all-in-one skipping setup. Uh, it's a three-eighths uh, ounce ball jig. But the nice thing about this is you can flip it, you can pitch it, um, you can skip it, you can swim it. It's There's really nothing you can't do with it. Like I said, to kind of show you all what I mean, so you can flip it fairly easily. But like I said, you could also skip it. Fairly easy to skip. And I actually have a short on how I uh, set this up and what I use, the terminal tackle and all that kind of stuff. So I'll put a link to it right here. Kind of why I like jigs is there really is no wrong way to fish them. You can kind of do whatever you want with them. Which right now I'm gonna be using kind of like a swim jig. Cause in my opinion, swim jigs during the fall, I love swim baits and it's about as subtle as you can get when the fish are all pressured from being caught all summer. And this is just a Strike King Rage Crawl. We got some uh, new molds coming in here shortly and a, basically a Rage Crawl is going to be one of them. And I'm really excited because I use them a lot for chatter baits, uh, jigs, flipping and pitching. It's just, to me, it's one of the more versatile soft plastic baits. Yeah, like I said, and uh, the reel setup I'm using right now, this is a six, eight to one reel. Um, and then this is 20 pound fluorocarbon on a media heavy fast action, seven foot three. Now when you're swimming, any kind of bait, the reason I like it is because you'll know when a bass strikes it. 
and when you just hit weeds. I think we might actually tie on an actual swim bait um, just to be able to get through these weeds a little easier. All right, guys, so uh, even though it's not really time for swim baits, like I said, I really love swim baits. It's one of my confident baits. Uh, and I feel like you can catch them year round on this. Some people will disagree, but for me, I'd rather throw a swim bait than a chatter bait. It's a little bit more subtle. And, uh, and like I said, you'd be really surprised how well they work. For the most part, these are weedless, so structure that is still like growing, like grass or you know lilies or something like that, you can throw this in it and swim it out. You know, it'll kind of go along the tops, but you can just uh, change up your pattern. Like me, I I like a nice slow retrieve, and then every once in a while, I'll pause, I'll speed it up. But I feel like if they'll bite a, if they'll bite a fluke or a jerk bait, they will definitely bite a soft plastic swim bait. But as you guys guess, since I like swim bait so much, another one of the molds that we're going to be getting here shortly is in fact a swim bait. And when I use uh, soft plastic swim baits, I use the Hibusa. This is the uh, one eighth ounce uh, belly weight. Uh, this is the 5 aught hook. I also use 6 aught too, um, depending on the size of the soft plastic swim bait. This one, probably I should be using the 6. But uh, I haven't had any issues. Uh, you know, typically if they bite it, you know, I've been able to hook up with them. But this kind of stuff... That was a bad cast. But with this kind of stuff, like... Really, you want to kind of like use cover and ambush points to your advantage. Because you really want to swim it past that ambush point. Like, uh, they can be useful in open water, like I'm using it right now, just because, like, there's so much grass. Like I said, that little bit of vibration that this causes works really well. Now this is more my designated uh, swim rod, uh, swim base swim rod for my small five inches uh, and below um, swim bait rod. It's a medium heavy, heavy seven foot six, moderate action. And that's just so I could pick up line quickly. Uh, it's 20 pound fluorocarbon and an eight to one reel. Cause with this, you know, it's a moving bait. It's moving towards the boat and it is very possible that the fish will pick it up and move towards the boat. So you need to be able to pick up line, especially in shallow water, really quickly, which is why I have the little extra length on the rod and the higher speed reel. Look how, look how well that swims, guys. If I was a fish, I'd eat it. Oh, maybe we'll go back to flipping and pitching, but we're gonna move away from this uh, area and kind of find another area that we can flip and pitch in. Oh, so let's go ahead and get our flipping and pitching rod ready. And then we'll uh, go ahead and pick up our anchor. Go. All right. You know what? Rinse off our hands a little bit. Oh, man. That was almost really bad. All right. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, the rain came in and I got... As you can see, absolutely soaked. I had to come home, get in some dry clothes. And uh, honestly, we didn't get to spend as much time out there as we would have wanted. Um, but as you guys can see, like I said, the jerk bait year round works. Uh, we didn't catch anything off any other technique, but like I said, as long as you're catching them, it doesn't really matter. That's what I love about fishing. There's no rules to fishing. It's However you catch them is how you can catch them. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video today. It's a little exciting over in the house. We got, you know, we got Balto down here. The old boy. He's our 14 year old Husky. He's a good boy. Then we got Rookie, our young one. You know, he's a little rambunctious. You guys seen him in earlier videos. He goes with us a lot. And then we got the Bobos. He's uh, this is Bo. 
We call him Bobo Danger. <laughs> Mr. Jealous. Mr. Jealous. <laughs> All right, buddy. Down. But like I said, guys, we had a lot of fun today. It's always a nice time to get out fishing on our days off. So, you know, um, but we got a lot of cool stuff coming. Like I kind of hinted throughout the video. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be in on all that. We are super excited for the future of this channel and we're gonna keep going with our giveaway. So make sure you have entered in to win for that. Now go catch a fish.